When you look down a microscope at an embryo, you can't tell whether or not an embryo has the correct number of chromosomes inside it. So inside all of our cells, we should have 23 pairs of chromosomes, and that's the same with an embryo. But it's very common for embryos to have extra chromosomes or, or fewer chromosomes. And this would mean, if we transfer embryos that don't have the correct number of chromosomes, that those embryos aren't likely to implant, or if they do implant, they're likely to result in a miscarriage. So what we offer is, is a technology called either array CGH or next generation sequencing that allows us to count chromosomes inside a small sample of cells that are taken from embryos. With both of these technologies, they start by obtaining a small sample of cells from an embryo and amplifying the DNA inside these cells or copying the DNA to create many thousands of copies. With Array CGH, that amplified DNA is then um, compared with male and female day DNA of normal copy number and applied then to a, a microarray slide. We're then able to determine the chromosome number inside the original sample from the embryos and select the embryo that is most likely to result in a pregnancy. With next generation sequencing, we then fragment the DNA or cut it up into pieces, into small pieces, and sequence many thousands of these pieces. These tiny pieces are then aligned on the human genome so that we're able to identify which chromosome that they originally come from. We then use quite sophisticated computer software to count those fragments, those sequenced fragments, to give us an indication of how many chromosomes were in the original sample. By counting the chromosomes, we're able to better select an embryo that is more likely to result in an ongoing pregnancy.